everyone, Sarah here. I'm here to set up my uh, work bullet journal. And I'm going to focus on creating my routine spread in my work bullet journal. So these are some of the routines that I do to manage kind of my daily management that you guys see me put in my eight o'clock slot in my planner every day. Um, so if you're new here, my name is Sarah and I'm a project manager and I take all those tools basically and apply them into functional planning in my uh, Hobonichi cousin or my work bullet journal. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more from me and hit the bell. So we're getting into it. So you guys had seen me do some spread regarding like mapping out all of the process of my functional area that I manage. And then I broke it down into like the different functional uh, groups that I work with and also the, what the KPIs are. Um and basically all that fun stuff. So what I did there, and that's what I'm flipping to, is really by understanding each of the different stages of you know the functions that I do, I'm able to understand what processes are in different stages. And then from there, I can understand the KPIs, the measurements that we have as a business that go towards those. And that is right there, my friend, are what drives my routine. So I want to drive routines that support the KPIs, that support the processes, that support support, support my functional area. <laughs> so whew, I hope you all got all that. So this spread is, is not the best, most creative spread, but it's very just functional. I was just going for functional here because this is my work bullet journal and I keep it out on my well, I'm working from home, but I keep it out on my desk. So every morning I keep it out and I just run through the routine. And it's so nice because it's just kind of autopilot and I'm having my coffee. So what I do is I think of work routines and, you know, what are what are the monthly things we have to do? So what are those monthly KPIs? What are those monthly metrics? And then from those monthly metrics, how do I support those on a weekly basis? So then I think about my weekly routines and the things that I have to do on a weekly basis in order to make those monthly basis, monthly routines work. And then from weekly, I actually drill down a level further and I think about what are the things that I need to do on a daily basis. So I have to have some daily management or daily behaviors so when I get to my weekly and monthly, I don't have all these gaps everywhere because the thing about metrics is you have to capture them every single day or you have holes in them and then you got skewed data and well, that's just no good. So anyhow, so I build out these metrics. So I start to understand the processes and what it takes for me to build out these metrics and reports and routines and cadences that we have. And I use, so you see a couple, you see a post-it and a routine builder up there. And those are ways that I start to um, break down the routine. So I'll just throw some like bullet points in there on this routine builder card. And it really helps me understand like these are all the things that have to be done. It's not in order of how they have to be done. It's just the things that I have to do so I can start getting into a flow of doing them. So maybe I'll put seven things down, but the fifth one might be the first thing I do. And then as I start to build that routine, I start to flush out the process. And then once it gets solidified, I actually like I'll put it on a post-it or in a notebook or on a one note or something. But I really like this routines uh, spread because this is really my system of managing the work because all of my daily management measures all of the work that my functional area does. Um, so this, if you look at the two page spread, oh my gosh, my the two page spread, that is really the system that I've put together to manage all the work that you've seen in that process map. And in the end, I'll give you a quick overview of how they tie together. And then 
so that's the whole system. The two pages are the system. And then the routines are the things that I do on a monthly, weekly, or daily basis. And then the behaviors really come down to those daily behaviors. If I miss a day on those daily behaviors, it's a gap. It's a, it's a gap in my data. So my little run chart is going to have a gap in it. <laughs> so anyhow, and if I don't do it, I have to make sure somebody else is doing it so I, should, so I can capture the accurate, accurate data. And then when I think about the KPIs, I think of like, we, you know, we're in a sales organization, so we care about our sales. Uh, We care about our bookings. We care about customer experience, all that fun stuff. And how I measure those are the different parts of the function. So did they get a return? Were they happy with the product? Did they not like it? Did they just not need it? So how many of those, right? So that helps me measure some of the customer experience. And then how are we performing as a team? Like, are we answering calls in a timely manager, manager manner? Um, are we getting bookings are, from our quotes? You know, are we converting the leads? Those kind of things. So those are the KPIs or the things that my team gets measured on. And I want to make sure that First of all, I'm managing the work, so managing the leads, managing the orders, all that fun stuff. But I also want to make sure we are like managing them at the right service level. So that's really where the routines help me out. So, you know, we might drive sales by different lead follow up in our sales group, or we might drive sales by just kind of making sure that we're being proactive on orders to make sure that the product is actually there to ship, those kind of things. So those are some of the tasks that I do on, my team does on a weekly basis. And I'm just there pestering them like, hey, it's month end Monday, we always say. Um, so, so, you know, just as a reminder, like, hey, these are the things we want to focus on this week. Here's where we are in the numbers. Here's where we need to be. Um, this is what we're doing. So those, those weekly cadences are really, they're kind of like themes to the week of the month. So you have, I just break it down really into four weeks a month and it's like, you know, week one, we focus on this week two, we focus on that. Uh, one and two are really the same. So actually in the weekly weeks, one and two are very similar. And then weeks three and four are very similar, um, to, to drive our behaviors, but we just prioritize different things differently. We just prioritize the task in a different way. That's a better way of saying it. Hey everyone, this is editing Sarah here. So I realized that I didn't like explain it well enough for to you. So I just wanted to do it. So this here is my map where I created kind of like when I started to do my brainstorming session for our functions and it's copied from over here. But I wanted to bring it over here so you could see how I match my routines with it. So here for pre-sales, my KPIs are win rate and value. And those are tied to my daily routine of sales order bookings. And um, and we drive that by some of the behaviors we do. So unconfirmed addresses, hold, partial. So all these different tasks that we do on a weekly basis drive some of these things. Then the bookings in line, again, it goes to the sales order bookings report and and um, like how many lines we entered. Order management, open orders and calls. So this goes into our open order report dashboard. So that shows me like all the stuff that's past due or coming up due and, and how we kind of manage orders. So that's open orders and calls. So it's tied to my daily task of the open order reports and also um, we, these are some of the things that we do to manage open order. So that's like, it's like a system. This whole thing is a system. These are the routines. And then these are, these are the actual behaviors that drive the routines and then the system. So, and then post sales, the KPIs of T's and C's and accommodations. So, um, that's on my dashboards where I'm looking at like what our returns were and, and stuff. Um, and then also my metrics for my monthly and weekly reporting. Uh, here, my more presentation, I have all of the quotes, PIs are returns, and then credits for returns. So that's how it all ties together. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you like this video. Thanks. Bye.